right, before we start, this video is brought to you by Rose Gold and Black. Rose Gold and Black is an amazing company that sells jewelry for men. Now, the great thing about this jewelry is that it looks very good on any guy. It's very masculine and it doesn't look feminine on you. However, girls can still use it. My sister uses it all the time. My wife uses it all the time and they love it now the great thing about rose gold and black is this not only bead bracelets they have the bead bracelets they have the leather bracelets they have necklaces and now they also have rings and watches now if you guys want to check out rose gold and black i'll have the link down below and you can get all this stuff at a heavily discounted price now a lot of you guys have been saying oh yeah it's 40 bucks for a bracelet you know it's too much now you are paying for quality it's great craftsmanship they use great materials and it's something that's going to last you a very long time now like i said they also have rings you can get them in rose gold you can get them in black and you can get them in silver and they also have watches that you can check them out so check out rose gold and black i'll have the link down below everything's heavily discount for you guys our followers of the zunigas thank you guys for watching now let's go to our video all right guys so we are in dubai and i'm actually using the dji osmo so hopefully it looks cool and it actually sounds good so right now we're he heading to the miracle garden we're actually only in dubai for a day and then we're heading to paris and that's where we're gonna end the year in paris so that's going to be Fun. All right, so we're at the Miracle Garden. That's something we didn't do last time. Uh, Miracle Garden. All right, so we're here for just a day. Like I said, we're gonna end our year in Paris. So we're here because this guy, your boy, all my TMF tips right here, came is to a final end. Getting I'm throwing proposed. in my towel. <laughs> the old ball and chain. So he is getting proposed um, here in Dubai. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason why we're here for today. Um, after that, we're so I'm gonna propose in the Dubai Miracle Garden. If you ever go to the garden, you could put a picture there. Um, there's like a heart arches or whatever. That's where I'm planning on um, popping the big bush. So in the heart, so we're gonna take some pictures there. Anyway, so yeah, that's the whole reason why we're here. Um, the rest, we're gonna go to Paris, um, basically leave tonight and uh, spend the New Year's in Paris. Not gonna lie, this is pretty impressive. This is pretty impressive. Look at those elephants. Not gonna lie, it's impressive. They even have Mickey and Goofy and Daisy. So this is where he's gonna be waiting to do his deal. Look at that, we have two Osmos here. These little things are amazing. All right, boys. No, it's not important. This is initializing. This is insane. They have a freaking plane in here. Yes. Alright guys, so we are here in Dubai and we're in the biggest Nike store of the world. 58,000 square feet. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. What is this? Oh, this is where you customize your shoes? So you can customize your shoes. I mean, your imagination can go wild. Look at that. You can pick whatever it is you want to do. Painting the shoes there by hand. So you can customize your own shoe. Every hour there's a customer um, that basically can customize their own shoe. So there's like a queue that you have to follow and all that. So they're going to get somebody so and see if they can help us and maybe we can design our own sneaker. Uh, shoelaces, markers, swoosh, pins. Here's the price list. Can you pass it in a picture way or just your name? So we can, we're able to draw things. We're also able to just, you know, like uh, a name. Oh, and you cool. want to also draw because this is done by hand design, so that's my that's like 
longer and they have a different uh, time slot for it. And this one is, it will be faster than the Korean. The design will be cool, but it makes it unique. So for check check so you know how it works. Customization for the design, the next uh, customization for just the name, the next availability for it to be done could be around three o'clock, like two fifteen, so two thirty, two thirty, three o'clock it would be done. But for design we have still a slot available today at four o'clock or at five o'clock. And it takes an hour to get it done? Yeah, so you know to kind of tell the design what you want, etc, etc, and then you, okay. just, you, can, you can sit and watch or you can just go away and come okay. back out. Alright guys, so we are here, we're in Paris, we're actually in the Champs-Elysees. What are you doing? Merci. I know three what are you basic doing? words. Bonjour. Merci. Au revoir. And that's it? <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. yeah, I love my accent too. You have no accent. <laughs> Beaner. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? I am oh. an engaged man. Did we get on camera? I'm blonde? Well, you, now you did it. Uh, I'm an engaged man. So I'm blonde. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got here today. Uh, we're just gonna spend some time here, uh, walking around Champs Elysees through the stores, etc. Nothing too special. Uh, we've been here before, so nothing too touristy as well. Um, so we're just gonna yeah, walk around that side looks retarded and uh, enjoy our few days here. We leave the second. We're gonna be here New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, so it's, it'll be fun. So stay tuned. All right, so this is our second day in Paris. Um, the only touristy thing that we might be doing today is actually going to Notre Dame. Holy crap, that's the last. As you can see right there. So, hopefully I don't get right over. Um, there's Notre Dame right there. And basically that's the only touristy thing that we'll be doing. Last time we came here, we actually didn't stop by so amazing cathedral it's huge all right so that's the line to get in there no we're just never gonna get in to be honest <laughs> all right guys so here we have some samples new Henley colors as you guys can see right here gray one nice blue one this nice gray one. So we need to figure out what colors. Look at these colors. Yeah, this one here, this one, this one. Now, we redesigned the Henleys completely. You guys didn't like the last, the first version, so we did them better, we changed, we went back to the drawing board and came up with a new style, new colors, and these actually are re even more relaxed than the other ones. You guys said that they were a little too tight, so we loosened them up a little bit, we changed the color, we make them look a little bit more rugged. So, help us decide which color you guys prefer. No, boys, we need to chill. Not only did we just slaughter it in our last drop with essentials, what we're about to do in this next drop, I'm telling you, we're gonna do numbers unheard of, because these essentials, they're gonna change the game. So we're upgrading the Henley with two new versions. This one's probably gonna come out later, one of my favorites, but let me show you the one that's gonna come in this fifth collection. I want it with, with the Henley, my vision for it was something super casual and relaxed that you can lounge around in, but also look muscular. So this is our fifth sample, and I think we nailed it in the head, but I'm gonna need your help because we need, to, we need to pick two colors for our next launch, and I want you guys to help us choose. So let me try them on so you guys can see what they look like. As you can see, the fit's more relaxed. The fabric is super lightweight, so it's gonna be perfect for the spring summer. I also think this ash blue works with almost any outfit, so it's gonna be super versatile and one of my top favorites. Let me go on with the next color. Color number two is like a washed out gray, another one of my favorites, and definitely a versatile one. And 
an essential for almost every dude. Let's go to the final and third color. And finally, boys, color number three is like a tan and sand color. So we're gonna need your help choosing the top two. You can comment on the poll. That way we're gonna choose the top two most popular ones to produce on top of, of course, your basic white and black. But here's something more exciting. We're also upgrading t-shirts. So yes, boys, the bamboo t-shirt is staying because that's a staple and it's the best t-shirt in the world, but we wanted something different. A t-shirt that was a little bit dressier and we did it with this. It's a knitted t-shirt. It, it looks almost like a polo shirt without the polo collar. So the shirt fits just as good as our bamboo tees, but it's in a knitted fabric with a pocket detail to make it even dressier. A slightly longer tail so we can cover better the bottom region and it's not riding up, up as you're using it. This will also come in white and black and we're trying to figure out two more colors that are perfect for the springtime. But like I said, this next launch, it's gonna be insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Help us decide which colors are best for the next launch i'll have a poll up there for you guys to check it out thank you for guys for watching see you guys next time